Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Saturday morning. We're going to hit some yard sales. I'm with my friend Andrea here. We're going to go see what we can find. Get the garage cleaned out. Yeah, we haven't camped in ages, so. Oh, we have camped about every other week. Do you? Oh, yeah. cool. These are cardboard, I think. That one's plastic, actually. How much is the car here? The the, the white, oh, the front and the one five. in the front. Is five. I'll yeah. take that one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. What about you? Yeah. I, not for me. Do you want them? I don't know. No? no I, don't. I thought you'd want them. <laughs> how much are your lights? Um, I don't know. There's, I forget how many strands are on there. Um, I don't know. Whatever you want to pay for. Like, you know. I don't know. I don't like to be the first one to come up with the price because I wouldn't know if they all worked right. and all that. Four back? Yeah, I do that. Tell you what, oh, I hope I got room for the stuff I just bought, Andrea. <laughs> what? I, hope I, I might have to leave the car behind and just buy this. I'll pay, I'll pay five bucks for this. Is that okay? What car? Yes. I was going to buy that car, but it's kind of big for... I got this and then I've got these lights next door. I don't think I'll be able to get it all in the car. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely want those, though. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Maybe this little we'll grippy thing to hold them all together because okay. it would be like you. everywhere. You don't want these later ones? No, I guess not. So these are Andrea's finds. So the guy at the yard sale gave all these plush for free. And then she paid, how much did she pay for that? One dollar? For this, um, Rudolph uh, light featuring the Santa guy and it's from 2005. So we looked it up and it's worth like 30 bucks. So we're not really sure on the stuffed animals yet, but she could do well on them. I just I just enjoy sharing like oh yeah I found this at a yard sale oh, yeah, you yeah. know that kind of stuff cool no oh, you're fine yeah <laughs> I'm, 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 I I'm the only one that brought all this stuff out. Well, most of it's yours. Is there anything, anything good? Did you buy anything? You eh, I bought a couple things. Right. Those are neat poker chips. What are you asking on those? Uh, five bucks. Yeah, five bucks. I like those. You got a lot of neat, uh, mm -hmm. little just stupid neat stuff. small things. I know. I love little stuff. My husband little loves items, small. I don't know why. <laughs> no one, no one else does, but it seems like. What the heck did I do? We get made fun of for having little stuff like that. But. I, sh I laid my purse down. Where in the heck did I do that at? Did you? you laid your purse down? I thought I did. <laughs> I thought I got out of the car with it. Maybe I didn't get out of the car with it. I laid it back in here. I'm crazy. Because I thought, I'm going to give him $5, and I was like, where in the heck's my purse? <laughs> I am crazy. That's for sure. You like Versace? <laughs> we'll stop a pair of... Uh, I don't know anything about Versace, because I, I don't buy anything expensive. I wear these right here. These are the ones I wear. I just got these yesterday, though. But, and they've this got here? A, yeah. They, um, there's the price tag still on them. they got a 21-month warranty and everything on them. Oh, my gosh. Got them from right at Sunglass right there in the mall. 
Oh. There's the one too hard on it. Oh yeah. I, I don't mean, really I don't do want that much. I don't want three or four or three ninety five. <laughs> I'd take two hundred for them if you did with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't do expensive sunglasses. You know why? Because I sit on them. <laughs> you break them. I, I do. Lose them. I break them every year. Yeah. I like like uh, you see what I just did with my purse. I'm like, I, I can't buy a pair of two hundred dollar sunglasses. Dropped you dropped yours in the water. I dropped a bunch of pairs in the water uh, in like canoe room in the south. Yeah. How much is your radio? Does it work? Old, uh, that, you know that that was one that was actually in mm. that movie, um, too. That's uh, I forget what, what, which one. I mean, um, I don't even know what they have for them. I don't know oh, is it missing a cord? Or um, yeah, it it can use batteries, but I'm sure. Oh, you there's a cord too. place over here. Oh, okay, let me look. Yeah, there's yeah. a place look, for a cord. There's probably a bunch of them right here. Like if oh, you go in that little too. black box right here. Hmm. Sure don't work. There's gotta be something right here. Actually, in a movie, I swear. Um, one of those movies, yeah. No, but it was like one uh, of the old was, 80s was, movies? Yeah, it was like an old 80s movie. I forget. Would you do 20 for both? The, what, what, is, what was it again? This and the chips. That way I don't yeah, have yeah. to make change for yeah, you, and then cool. I can find a cord online. Yeah, fine. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Come back tomorrow, too, because I ain't got everything out. Okay, great. Get the rest of it all out. Awesome. Have a good evening, y'all. Okay. How much do you have on your Tupperware glasses? The Tupperware cups? Two dollars? Okay. What does this do? Is this a model? Lighted. Moving messages. Hmm. How much is that? Four. Four. Never seen one like that before. Kind of neat. There's one. Super shaker in the box. Is there any room for negotiation on this? 45. Come down five. Is that 40? 40? Are they? Wow. It's pretty impressive that it's still on the package like that. All these are cute too. Little hangers. I like these little hangers for some reason. Little 70s colors. So fun. So I'm shipping out this boom box this morning and I sold it for a hundred dollars in my eBay store. You seen I picked it up in that footage for 15 bucks. So this was a pretty quick flip. Uh, 15 bucks, sold it for a hundred. If it had been in better condition, this thing could have sold for four hundred dollars. The FM player is the only thing that works. The cassette doesn't work, the lights don't work, the clock doesn't work, the AM doesn't work. It has one screw holding the whole entire radio together. And actually, I was kind of scared selling this thing. People do not read descriptions sometimes. And so what I did to remedy that was, and I'll even put the message up here in the screen so you can see, but I sent the guy a message and just said quickly, hey, just wanted to be sure you read the description. You know, this thing has some issues, and I just wanted to be sure that you know. And so he let me know right away that, yes, he read the description, and he still wants it. So that is something that I've been doing. Um, you guys feel free to do that. <laughs> it's like it's going to save you a return or at least help you out in a case if somebody says, hey, this is not what I thought I was going to get. So I like to communicate with the buyer even before they receive the item. Just say, hey quickly did you read the description because it's important if you haven't done so please go do that and make sure you still want this order so 
But anyway, I did find a cord out in our garage and I went ahead and um, got it together here and put a piece of cardstock around it and then I like to wrap tape around that. Um, it just keeps it nice and clean. They can just slip the cardstock off or cut it off or whatever and they don't have any tape residue on their cord and everything just arrives all nice. So I am gonna wrap this this morning in this plastic because like I said, the only thing holding this together is the one screw. So there are a place for four screws. None of those screws were there. Also the battery um, cover was missing. So this is gonna be wrapped nice and tightly before I even um, put it down into the box with packing. I'm back home now. It's kind of late. I'm so glad that Andrea got in touch with me this morning. She is intimidated by yard sales and she just out of the blue messaged me this morning and said, are you yard selling this morning? Because I want to go. So I picked her up, left her car. She is even intimidated about where to park at yard sales. So Andrea, I love you. I'm so glad that you went with me today. Andrea is such a good time, but we found her a few things to sell in her eBay store and she's really happy about that. I have a few things here in my floor spread out that I want to show you that I bought today and a few of them were off camera. So anyway, and they actually have some value. So I'm so happy about that. So let's see what we got. So this was my loot for Saturday, you guys. These lights here was the best thing I bought and there were six of them and the guy was asking $5 a piece. So he gave me a $10 discount for buying them all. Now these are called Abilite. I think the one has a different name, but it's identical so anyway from what I see I could probably get about four or five hundred dollars from these things I don't know if I'm gonna sell them individually or together yet I'm just gonna have to figure out the logistics on that and see what works out best so I paid five dollars for these Christmas lights there's about four or five strands there I plugged them all in I believe there's four or six to a strand somewhere in there um, but these are actually, I've actually seen them selling used unboxed for like 25 bucks for four of them. So this was actually a really good deal at $5. And like I said, they all work. But the one thing I did notice was the ones that were boxed, they were like a sidewalk, sidewalk um, strand of lights. So these would have had a post that would have went into the ground. And I guess those fit into there. So I guess if you could find those I guess you could line them up alongside of your uh, sidewalk or whatnot so I've got a handful of things over here I really don't know the value of all of them yet the pampered chef stone I'm guessing I'm gonna ask about 25 or 30 dollars for just because it's um, like new it's probably only been used a few times this tape rewinder I bought that because VHS's are so hot right now and then the Holy Bible on cassette they were both complete so I picked those up this stuff here cost me literally just a couple of bucks for all of it and I believe that might be Bowwinkle I've still got to do research on all of this you guys so if you know the names of any of these um, people besides the strawberry the shortcake there I know her um, I do know that that's a my little pony toy I'm just not exactly the sure of the name uh, name of it anymore I did look it up it's on there I think on eBay listed for like 15 bucks I believe and then this emerald uh, cologne still gonna look that up and I don't know her either so anyway I've got a little bit of work to do almost forgot about the poker chip so pick these up earlier in the video for five bucks at that yard sale and when I bought them there was a bunch of old junky ones in the bag as well I went ahead and threw those out got the best ones that we wanted to keep um, so if I wanted to sell these on eBay I think I could probably get anywhere from 50 to 75 bucks for the whole lot of them but we've decided to keep them my husband really likes poker chips so he does collect some and I bought them with him in mind I knew he probably would want to keep them so we are gonna keep them at our house at this time but yeah um, could probably easily make 50 to 75 bucks on this lot right here. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe. I hope you share with a friend, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.